sure all of what that face has to offer. Just need that slight smile she always makes. <laughs> um, right. Uh, ah, okay. Oh, <coughs> God. Crap. This place is properly overrun with my stuff. Why didn't I have the sense to clean up better? What does she think of me? Right, right. Focus up. She'll be here any minute. I'll be here, and I'll put her chair right there. Hmm. Uh, no, I'll put it there. Good, good. With the window half open, should give a good morning sun gleam. Yes, she'll look good in the light. Well, oh my! Oh, you are going to make my heart jump free from my chest someday. What? The door wasn't. Oh yeah, I left the door open. Uh, must have been distracted. By what? Distracted by um, what? Well, preparations. I'm sorry. Oh, I've been up for a while, I think. Been getting ready, you know? Setting things up just right for us to work. Oh well, come in, dear. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for coming. And so punctual. You look... <laughs> very ready. <laughs> no, it's, it's just that I don't usually see you with quite that kind of makeup. No, no, it, it looks good. I just hope it didn't take you too long to cake on. Really? I never thought you'd be such an expert in applying it. But besides the point, you look great today. I'll take that coat, if you don't mind. Thank you. Now, let's get this away over here and just... Wow, you really do look fancy. Of course I like it, it's, it's very, it's a very nice dress. Uh, forgive me if I stare, it's just that you look about ready for a royal reception. I never anticipated you to put so much effort into this, I mean... I'm used to seeing you in your skinny jeans, flannel shirts, and, and hoodies, you know. Certainly beats my complex closet. <laughs> yes, dear, I do still wear a lot of turtlenecks. Very warm and practical. Compliments my face, something marvellous. Not a lot of depth or colour to them, but hey, when you find a look that works, well, you know what I mean. Uh... Yes, I guess you're right. All the colour in my life is in my work. Well spotted, dear. Well, maybe not all the colour. The best ones are often elsewhere. Sometimes there was someone we... Uh, no, nothing. Uh, sorry, that was the artist in me talking, I suppose. <laughs> I'm just a little mad. <laughs> oh, darling. All artists are mad. <laughs> well, speaking of beauty in the world, thanks again for agreeing to this. You really are a fantastic friend to help me. It is very important to me indeed. I'm glad you understand. I've been working for this for years to set up this new studio here. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm glad you like it. This is where all the magic will happen. All my creations from here on out will be born in this room. <laughs> well set up and decorated. Well, thank you kindly. Seeming as all the decorations are my work, that's a great compliment. But yeah, I did tell you a while ago. It's time for me to really spread the word. To get my name out there as an artist who not only makes interesting stuff, but also serves the people, you understand? I want my clients to know that they can come to me and ask me for a portrait that can really 
be top quality. And what better way of getting the portfolio to the next level than having a very special work of art as the crown jewel? <laughs> I'm glad you're flattered. But it's true, I needed a subject to paint. Someone who would be the perfect model for what I'm trying to say. A face that shows a good heart that also knows how the world works. I searched for so long, all the while being blind to the fact that that very face was with me this whole time. It was your face. <laughs> well, I suppose I should give the artist speak a rest so we can get to work, right? Oh no, darling, I won't be doing all the work here because I need you for this. I need you to not just be yourself today, but to radiate who you are. I need you in the perfect pose, with a perfect smile. But I know you can do that. We work together on this. So, are you ready? Great. Then I suggest you take a seat. I've got my easel all set up, and I'm all ready to go. Oh, how about I put on some tunes, so... You won't get bored sitting in the exact same position for hours. <laughs> Nice, there we go. Okay, this is it. First off, I need to sketch you. And not just that, I need to really capture everything about you. All those, um, <laughs> features of yours. Hmm? Oh, nothing, dear, just working out some things in my head. Okay, listen to me very carefully. Do you remember that time we went to that amusement park and everyone was frightened of the biggest, fastest roller coaster around? Yes, indeed. You pulled my arm and said, Let's show these wimps! And then you gave me the greatest yet subtle, confident smile. That's the expression I need from you. Can you do that? You'll try? Okay, we can start with that. <laughs> hmm. No, nothing, just focusing. Have I ever told you that you have a very lovely look? No. Oh my, what a crime. What do I find so lovely? Oh, well, uh, where do I even begin? I, I like your eyes. They really tell me things about you. They're so lively and deep. And I like your hair. You've been doing some work on it today, I'm sure. But it usually just flows so naturally, very enchantingly too. You've also got a nice... <laughs> figure. <laughs> it just... I don't know, um, it's, it's not bad for me to say you've got nice... curves. <laughs> what? I may be your best mate, but I'm not blind. I'm serious. On top of all your beautiful features, you've got some sex appeal too, love. But you know my favorite thing? It's your smile. That coy, slightly smirky grin. It says confidence without arrogance and innocence without naivety. It's capturing well on the art here. If only you were... Uh... Hmm? Oh, nothing, dear. Nothing, nothing. I'm sorry. I need to focus on this next bit for a sec. Hmm. 
No, that's that's not it just yet. What about... No, no, not that either. That's not it. Sorry? Oh, nothing, dear. Just, just in a creative mindset. Being a horrible perfectionist and all, you know me. Just gotta get something there that makes it a bit more real. I'm not, I'm not seeing it just yet. I can't. <sighs> Damn it. You okay, dear? I'm, I'm kind of missing that sweet smile. And honestly, you haven't really been with me here so far. You were doing it perfectly at first, but you're slipping, I think? Are you alright? Um, I'm... I'm not sure what you mean, dear. How would you be making it difficult for me? Uh huh? Okay... Difficult to make you... beautiful? W w wait hold up. Let me just set this down a minute. Here. You don't mind if I sit here, right? Good. Hey. I've seen that look in your eyes before. You're worried about something. Unsure. And that's not you at all. I'm your... friend, dear. You can tell me anything. And you know that I'll help in any way I can. You feel like you're not... worthy? Not... good-looking enough? <laughs> not good-looking enough? Why? What do you think is so wrong with the way you look? Wait... Truly? That's what you think is wrong with you? Oh... Angel... Why do you hate yourself so much? How can you only see such ugliness when I see something so... very different? When I look at you, I see many things. I see a face so sweet and radiant, it's like sunshine personified. I see these two deep, powerful eyes staring back at me, into me. There's this wonderful air that flows behind her in the wind, almost as if it were hypnotic. But her smile, her smile is something I can't describe. It's, it's very much unlike any other I've seen. And believe me, a portrait artist sees a lot of smiles. People call the eyes the window to the soul. But I have another one in the smile. Yours. It tells me everything. And yet so little. I see a body that exudes grace and strength at the same time. How you do it, I still have no idea. But you're so perfectly sculpted, every shape, every inch of you. That's not what you felt I think of you. Ah, darling, c can I be very honest with you? Can you promise me you won't hold it against me? Okay. Here's the thing. I don't like what you've done to yourself to make yourself look beautiful today. Don't get me wrong. The makeup and dress, they do make you look gorgeous, okay? But you look all wrong. Fake. This is not the look I wanted to capture today. What I wanted was the outfit I usually see you in. The one that screams freedom. The one that shows everyone it's okay to make your own choices. 
You may think others might find you weird, but you always say, to hell with it. Those light-colored jeans, that distinctive shirt, and that amazing jacket that only you know how to rock right. That's the outfit I was hoping you walk in with today. And I wanted to see every single mark, blemish, and detail on your usual face. I was hoping you'd walk in with your hair all hanging free. Maybe comb, but nothing more. But the makeup is... it just sweeps all that away. It wipes away all the depth and confidence and freedom. What do you mean, you don't know who you're supposed to be? I always saw you as someone who followed her own way. You're not trying to live up to someone, be someone else. You're trying to be yourself. You are you. Wonderful, beautiful you. I know who you are. You're the girl I went to school with and always sneakily made sketches of in class. That's how you made me realize what I wanted to do with my own life. Make art. Darling, you're the woman that has brought so much joy in my life and never wanted anything in return. You're the woman that I would do anything for. I would do anything to protect, to, to care for you. You're the woman that... You're the woman I... Nothing, it's... It's... I... Darling, you... You're the woman I... fell in love with. I'm, I'm sorry, I... I never meant for you to find out this way. I never intended to... Yes, to tell you. This, this was a mistake. I'm sorry. I should never have tried to presume. I, I, I shouldn't have. <laughs> you feel. I... I can't believe it. I, my best friend. My beautiful muse. You feel the same way. You... You love me. Angel, I... I never knew. Why have you never... Why have I... Never... You thought, what? That I wouldn't like you in that way. The way you are. It's the main reason that... That I do love you. You just don't see yourself that way. Maybe you don't, which is a real shame, but you are everything to me. You're an angel. Are you my angel? <sighs> I... Yes. I don't think I've ever been this happy before. I never thought this would happen. This, this better not be a dream. <laughs> You're right, I mean, even a dream couldn't possibly match the feel of your touch. <laughs> Artists speak again, I'm sorry. Maybe I should be a poet instead of a painter. Say, speaking of, would you mind if we... Try this again. The painting, I mean. In your more casual get-up.
so I can capture the real you and I can finally pour all my feelings into it. Yeah? <laughs> Lovely. But you've worked so hard on your look today. Feels like a shame to let it go to waste. Say, would you like to go out with me? As in, now. I could dress up a bit myself and we can make our first date a fancy one. And if you like, you could stay here afterwards. Yeah, like our usual days together, just slightly different this time. And then tomorrow, we can make some real art together. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you, Angel. So, um... How about you join me upstairs and help me pick an outfit to match yours? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. That'll be fun. <laughs>